Hello friends and fellow humans, thank you for tuning in and welcome back to my garden, garden vlog number three. So today I wanted to share with you the broccoli that I planted today. I purchased this, I did not grow this from seed. This is a destiny variety and maturity, 40 to 54 days. So that's not that long and it's nice and cool for the broccoli. We had some really warm days, um, but it's cooled down and it's gonna be like in the 50s and 60s for the next couple week or so. So it's perfect for the cold crops. And last year I planted broccoli um, from seed and it took forever to grow, but it did grow and it didn't bolt because I had it in the shade and I think that's why it took so long. Um, and we did get some broccoli off of it, um, but not much. And it took forever and but as it grew and I cut the the center pieces off the offshoots grew so we were continuously getting broccoli from it for a couple of weeks which was cool and it was good broccoli um, it was just like a little bit at a time because I guess I was impatient and didn't let it grow I was not impatient I was afraid it was gonna bolt I was like oh I better eat this now before it bolts and it was good but it kept growing more and it, it worked out but hopefully, I'm gonna to try to grow two nice big broccoli heads with these guys right here. I fertilized them. I gave them lots of cocoa core because again, this soil doesn't have great drainage. It's from pretty dense clay. So every time I plant, um, I use a lot of cocoa core or you could use peat moss. I just found a good deal on this cocoa core at Costco. So I grabbed it and it's been working out pretty good. So everything I planted, I also got these um, flowers in the ground, you know, that I purchased just for a little color. Um, and all of the berries that I planted, the blueberry bushes are all looking good. Here's that nice big, um, the Jersey blue berry that I, I got the other day. It's looking great. And then also the two mini little guys here. They're still alive. Um, and they'll, they're not going to grow this much this year, that much this year. Um, they're going to kind of just survive and then hopefully next year they'll grow more but the raspberries that i planted last year are looking fantastic uh every day they just get greener and greener and more buds and i did uh prune off a lot not all of it here's an old one too uh, but i did prune off a lot of the old dead pieces from last year i think i'm doing it right like i said i've been watching tons of videos on how to garden um so I think I'm gonna have a good harvest this year, or at least a decent one. These are pretty new plants. And then over there is the asparagus trough. It's only been a couple days, so I keep checking it. Of course, it didn't come up yet, but I'm excited for that. And if they don't come out, if they don't come up, I'm gonna plant another blackberry bush over there because I only have one blackberry. The two pack I purchased, only one. Only one's looking alive, the other one's looking pretty dead. And then the one that was grown by the fence over there um, didn't have any new growth on it today. I checked it like a couple days ago, it had new growth, and then when I checked it today, it was completely dead. I don't know what happened. I dug it up as much as the root as I could, and I planted it over here. Um, with this, this will be the stake for it when it comes up. If it comes up, it's, it'll be there, hopefully. Who knows? Anyway. That's all I have to share with you today. Please, please, if you're watching this video, let me know that you are here with me and like, comment, share. Um, just let me know that you enjoyed it. And again, the garden is therapy. I've been feeling so great out here every day. Again, I had some really intense quarantine fatigue and I had just, I was at the end of my rope and um, digging out here, getting physical, lifting heavy things, planting plants, thinking about what I'm planting. It's really creative and fun and I'm getting really passionate about um, this method of gardening. No, no dig, food forest, permaculture, all that good stuff. Organic, of course, no chemicals. Um, biodiversity, polyculture, all that good stuff. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.